Hello, welcome to my channel. For today's project I have this soft deep blue cotton fabric. It's covered with lots and lots of little embroidered flowers but it was sold pre-cut. So this means I have to work with two pieces about one to five meters each. It's also quite narrow and did shrink significantly in the wash. So I need to work around this. My plan for this is a dress with an all-in-one sleeve, a cowl neckline and a quite narrow bell-shaped skirt. Now I haven't tried the cowl neck pattern already so it's a first for me and you will see how it goes. So let's get the pattern. So the pattern is available on my website for free. Go to dressdeveloper.de and click on pattern kits. We're using the bodice and skirt dress pattern kit today. I grease the fit category to five for a little bit more ease. Bell skirt. I change the skirt length to 70 centimeters. Now you could add a little bit of flare to the side too. I decided not to do that so I am quite sure that the skirt will fit on my fabric. Sleeves, let's see, all in one sleeve. Neckline, cowl neck. And then for closure I go for the zipper and back seam. And of course I want pockets. Pockets are important. Now I select a size. You can also upload your measure set with your very own measurement. Then I select the seam allowance. Paper format is fine. Then I can create a pattern. So here is the cover. Little drawing and an overview over all the settings we just made. And here is a preview of the printing layout, so you know how you need to assemble all the pieces. And here is the pattern itself, ready for printing. Looks like I underestimated the width of the fabric, so I just add a little bit of flair to the side here. And then I cut everything out. Then I begin with sewing the waist starts. You will notice that there is no bustard in this pattern. That's because the fullness of the bustard is opened to one third into the sleeve and to two thirds into the center of the pattern to create the cowl neck. Then I search all the edges which will not be enclosed by a facing or a hem. You can use a zigzag stitch for this. I prepare the pockets by sewing two of them together. Note that the seam allowance at the opening is left unstitched. Then I join the bodice pieces and the skirt pieces at the waist.
and I ran out of bobbin thread about 5 cm before finishing. Typical. The neck facing gets sewn to the back pieces. I also understitched the facings, that means that the facing is sewn to the seam allowance. This step helps to keep the facing properly tucked in. Time for the zipper. In preparation I sew the back seam. The top is sewn with large basting stitches and when I reach this pin as my marking to where the zipper will end, I backstitch and switch to a regular size stitch. And then I sew the rest. The zipper is then placed on top of the seam and pinned into place on the seam allowance. Remember to leave the facing free, it will be folded over the zipper later. I switch to a zipper foot and sew the zipper in place just on the seam allowance. Now all the basting stitches need to come out again. Now I open the zip and sew it again, this time with an invisible zipper foot and close to the zipper teeth. The invisible zipper foot helps a lot with this step, but you can also use a regular zipper foot. Sadly, you cannot sew all the way down with an invisible zip, so there will be a little gap which you need to close with a little bit of hand stitching. And here it is, a nice invisible zipper. What's next? Okay, yes, the shoulder seams.
The facing is then folded over the zipper and stitched to the seam allowance. Then I clip the corner and turn the facing right side out. While sewing the side seam, I leave an opening for the pockets, about one hand width below the waist. The pockets get placed over these openings and then I sew the seam allowance of a pocket to the seam allowance of a dress. The sleeve facings get placed inside the sleeves and stitched all around. Looking back, the facings are a bit thick with all the embroidery on it, so I might have better used some bias tape for the step. But it's fine. I tried a blind hem stitch on the skirt hem, but I don't know if I really like this. It may be because of the fabric and the embroidery, but I had a really hard time keeping the fabric straight. The sleeve facings got sewn down by hand. I also added a hook and eye to the top of the zipper and then I was finally done.